listen to the podcast. <laughs> well, I want to struck. I don't know what it is. Who's fighting? Oh, it's a small. That was a mistake. That will happen. It's a nice one. Beautiful smiley. Obviously this was a mistake. Oh, look at that. Wow. On the circle hook. That will happen. Thank you. Get a better look at it. Okay, we gotta get it back right away. It's not even in the season. There she goes. I went right straight down. Again, sorry I'm talking so quiet. It's just because people are right by me. It's a little awkward. get right out there again all right guys i'm just holding this because i have nothing to clip on to it might as well hold it like a mic but well it is a mic i guess you can say but <laughs> uh yeah it's been really slow all i've been really catching is smallies on accident of course and i want to stay away from that so i'm going to go ahead and go to another spot it's about five minute drive but they might hold catfish and silver and shorthead red horse or any kind of red horse well those two will be the ones i'll be catching in a way around here because that's just where what these two species there's six species of red horse i know i keep talking about them but in a way there's two of those species in the area and uh that'd be again silver and shorthead so it's really trying to get that off my bucket list uh i think they're a cool sucker uh white suckers well those things are lame i use those for a cup date <laughs> but these are different ones these are called red horse specifically they are a type of sucker and again, there's six of them, but we got two in the area that I know that these are located. Uh, there's four other ones that are located in different, you know, streams and rivers and other bodies of water, but we're not in the area, in, in the specific area where I'm at right now, um, anywhere near those species. But we do have six here in Minnesota. I don't know if you guys know, but I am in Minnesota. And this is where I usually do all my content. Um, Maybe down the road I can try and find a way to do some big blue catfish and uh, flatheads. That's been a big gold mine, but obviously working on things like that kind of keep it away from me having that opportunity to catch bigger fish. But anyway, enough talking. We're going to get over. I got to pack up, walk a ways, and uh, get driving and set up again. So. Oh, I got one right here. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, it was going towards me. And I was like, what's going on here? That was sick. <laughs> oh, we're good. Hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, wait, no, it's a red horse. No way. Is this a red horse? This, uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's a red horse. No, I got it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They got short head. There's six different kind of red horse. There's a short head and a silver that's lurched around these waters. But... Easy here. Oh, that's a nice one right here. But yeah, they're pretty cool. It's good. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Whoops, sorry. Yeah, man. Man, these things going nuts. I've been fishing. I should have wore a white shirt. <laughs> I've been fishing for 11 years. And I've never even went for carp, so. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's fun to do and, and during the off season, you know, but. They're good size, too, right? Yeah, they're fun to catch. They're kind of difficult sometimes, yeah, but. They got worms, they got all my stuff. I just had no clue how to set it up. Is that, uh. Rod? What's that? Rod? Oh, that's a St. Croix rod, yeah. Some, I, some foot, medium action rod. Did you buy that as a combo or? No, I bought the Fluger reel separate, but. You have the exact same rod. You, you do? Yeah, well, really? This one. I have okay. the exact same one of my dad's Fluger present. There we go. Got this off my bucket list. $100 rod. <laughs> Are you making a YouTube video right now? Yeah, I was gonna talk, but that's alright. You guys you guys are making it for me. Here, I'll show you what I got. I got a no roll weight. These are the best weights, one ounce. 
See, it's like that. It's one ounce. You can get up to like four ounces, depending. Oh, you're a tiny hook. Yeah, that's all it takes. And then a little. Should I throw on like this feather? Like this one right here? I'll give you a way. That's fine. Okay. And then swivel. And then you. It, this side I like using this kind of line, uh, 832 suffix, because, well, rocks. Right <laughs> you got rocks, you got everything. And when you get yeah. stuck on a log and you want to yank it out, you're probably just lose this part. Yeah. At least you're not going to lose the weight and stuff, and, and you're not going to tear up your line as much. I always end up just losing my lures. This line's like 30. No. 15 right, I think. Yeah, let me, uh, I got it such a mess in here. Give me a sec. Well, here's the scissors. That works. Works weight. So, you want a four size four. Right. That's the size you want. I got plenty, don't worry. This is, this is what I bring with. You come here a lot then? Like that. And then, I used to. It's been like 10 years since I've been here. Huh. So, so but I used to come here for a long, lot, way back in the day when I did the June species contest. So yeah. I'd go here and get catch one of those. That was a short head right there. Or no, I'm sorry, that was a silver. That was a small silver. So do you go put this on first? You gonna have this for here? Um, this goes first. The weight always goes first. Alright. So you know? this side? Yeah, so it's a hole inside and you just loop oh. it through. And then and how high up do you want it? Like two feet? But you do need extra line to get well, I got line. We're good. Yeah, I don't want <laughs> But no, this is a really good setup to catch literally anything. You never know what you're gonna catch. A kind big catfish dude. That would have been funny. Yeah. I've seen people use this before though, like on YouTube and stuff. I was just surprised. Yet? What's that? Have you ever fly fished yet? I, I don't I never got into fly me fishing. Either. It's just not for me. Yeah. I, I mean my I've done it but it looks weird. Okay, and then uh I think I gave you everything. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Oh wait, no, you got the line you need. And then here's a good line. Ten pound. Sorry Thanks. for interrupting you by the way. I just You're good. We we were not doing any good. You don't know what you know I'm more happy to show people this stuff. Not many people know how to do this stuff. Yeah, they just know how to throw and cast and reel, and that's about it. Which I love bass fishing. Which bass is fishing. Not... oh, you got it tied. Okay. Just a normal tie. Oh yeah, just a normal. Uh, with the you know. Right out here. Yeah, you know, somewhere in the middle, right there. We have to, where it kind of comes in as in the mouth, where it kind of, or it doesn't matter. Just find something that looks pro like that looks good. You know, if you fished enough, you kind of understand. Yeah, it's a good spot right there. Of course, the current's going this way, so you want to make sure you're kind of work. Pretty much, but you don't have a rod holder. I don't have an extra one for you, but yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much all you got to do. But it's a slow thing to do. It's kind of boring, but I don't. It, it depends. If I don't catch it in 20 minutes, I move. I reel in, make sure my bait's still good, and then I recast to a different spot or a whole different spot. But I give it about a 20 minute rule. If you're not catching in 20 minutes, go over there, uh, go, you know, wherever, you know, keep keep covering ground. I give it 20 minute rule is a pretty good right. time frame. Woo, that was hit. That was a big hit. I don't know how big it is. Oh, oh God. Am I recording? Okay. Jeez, I wasn't paying attention. I almost lost my rod, even with that rod holder. Yeah. I think it's a uh, carp. I don't know if it's fought yet, but it's around that, that big cement block. Oh, there we go. He's turning. That's good. Hopefully it's a silver or short head red horse. It's been my go to get that off my big. Oh yeah, that's probably a carp. He's fighting pretty well. Look at this. <laughs> oh. Uh. They're hard fighters, it's so fun. I need to get this rod to work. I just bought it not long ago, so I was like, I need to get this get this got, rod bent. I got mine last year. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Wow. Oh, it's still running. So let it do its work. You don't horse it in too. You just kind of let it go, get a good drag. You know, let him tire himself out. Got plenty of daylight. <laughs> so, oh yeah, it's, def it's definitely a car. There's no doubt about it. If this is a silver shred, it might have the record. There's some big ones in here, but there's no way this is. It's pulling like a carp. Feels pretty good. It didn't feel like my last carp I had that was 14 pounds, but you never know. It feels heavy. Oh, wait, that's not me. That's not you? 
No, I'm right here. He's got this guy's been right here the whole time. Oh, what is it? Is that a catfish? Oh, it's a catfish. That's a nice cat. That's why I was fighting so hard. Yeah, oh yeah. They fight kind of like walleyes. They like to stay down. They like, yeah, they pulled. They, they try to get to the bottom every time. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Nice cat. I love cats. Look at this. I don't know if it was bites or not, but I feel like little taps. Nice channel cat. This is a nice channel. There we go. You just hold them like that. You've caught channels, obviously. Yeah. Fox. Oh, he's a big boy. That's a big one. See, they get them always. They always get them on the side right here. They just set itself. Hey, Look at that. Are you recording right now? Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. I don't know if this shows its justice in this camera view. Usually I use the tripod, but it's all good. This is awesome. Yeah, that was a good fight. I honestly thought it was a carp. These guys are running in here. I usually don't catch uh, catfish in this area, but. Uh, what channel? Uh, uh, I don't remember what it is. It's next to a bunch of lakes. Alright. Get out of here, bud. Man, I didn't expect that at all. Thought I got a hit. Oh, well, that's something really small. Might be hitting my line. Oh yeah, got one there. There we go. Oh no, came right off. Wait, I still got him? No way, he came came towards me. It's a little guy. Well, it's, it's a white sucker. There we go. White sucker? Yep. That's a big sucker. Oh, this is, this is musky bait right here. Oh, there we go. Look at that, what a good day. Perfect, white sucker. Musky bait. Too bad muskie's not in the season and probably wouldn't be able to keep them alive, but still cool to catch random things. You never know what, what lurks in these waters. Is that a circle? No, because no, sort of, that's a straight hook because it doesn't curve. Yeah, if it's possible, I mean, I'll, I don't want to take it off don't, don't worry, man. I'm always glad to get you on this type of stuff. It's all good, man. Yeah. Oh, come on. Get all that. Nice one. Oh. Dude. Oh, I'm stuck in the log. Oh, man, that fish. It's probably still on there. Oh, yeah, I feel him. How far out is it? Oh, dang it. I knew that was going to happen. At least I got my weight. <laughs> it happens. Dang it. I cast a little further out, but oh, snap my hook! Just got my line still. Well, it happens. Oh, wow! That was crazy. Oh gosh! Oh, he's going left. He's going left. It's a cart probably on this one. Could be a big cat again since they're. Oh, I'm good. I'm good on this, but yeah, I'm pretty good at handling it. <laughs> What's he do it? <laughs> no. Oh god. Yeah. Wow, he took it. I was way over there. I wish I, I wish I would have kept the GoPro on, but it's on now. No, it's on now. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. It's probably a common cart. Or it could be a Wow, it's definitely fighting like a carp, but I hope it's a catfish because it feels heavy. Feels heavy. Oh, wow, there we go. <laughs> He's running. I got a good drag on it too. Oh god, yeah. It's... I don't know how big it is though, but I'm just trying to work it. He was decently heavy. Thank you. I'm glad he went left. I just gotta keep him away from over there. 
Oh yeah. Well, I can feel that cool air. That storm's coming in, isn't it? Uh, oh. I don't think it's that big. I think it's a catfish. It looks white. That's a really nice one. Oh, you're good. Just letting him fight. Or nice and slow. That's a thick one. Wow. This is. I wish I had waders. I've walked down this little bit. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That's a nice channel. Yeah, I'm going to weigh it here. Look at that. That's a really nice channel around here. Let's get a good little look at it. Look at the belly on this guy. Let's see what it weighs. There we go. We got 10 pounds. We're gonna let it keep holding. 10.3130. We're in that range. Over 10 pounds, that's for sure. 10 and a half pounds. And I look at it again. It's a beast for around here. Oh God. There you go, buddy. Give me grandma and grandpa. Hope you're the sun. Sweet. Gosh, I, as soon as I walk over, I look back, I'm like, see my rod just bent. <laughs> oh. All right, get right back in that foam. Current. There we go. Hit bottom. <laughs> You're gonna see my uh, rod holder just <laughs> see that it just destroyed the ground, ripped it right through. Had a good drag though. It was tight, but not too tight. Because if I had it too tight, it would have snapped the line. You know. Yeah. If you want to have it just right where it's tight, but it's like tight enough or not as tight enough to where it peels drag as well. All right, we got a big storm coming right here. It's coming in quick, it's getting windy. Hope you like this video. And yeah, it was good meeting these people, but we gotta run quick. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.